have tuned in to Music with Purpose. I am Lisa Catherine, your host. Ladies and gentlemen, Charles Austin. It's an honor to be here and to uh, play a few songs for you, some songs that um, I wrote. Um, and to have people here to listen to them, it's amazing. So thank you for being here. This is called Top of the Mountain. If you've ever been to Breckenridge, Colorado, and lived that life, then uh, you might understand this song. So it's called Top of the Mountain. There's a place just up at the top of that mountain where the aspens dance and sing. Just north of that river line is where you're gonna find me. Where the water flows clean and clear like rain, and that wishing well has been calling my name, but my luck ain't running dry. Oh, now, yeah. Some say that I've gone crazy, and others say I'm living the dream. Well, I feel like I'm just stuck out here and living somewhere in between. Well, I don't know how this whole thing started or where it's gonna end. Yeah, you can't get closer to heaven than where I've been. Well, I've been living out here for years or so, but it ain't always been this way. I had a real job and I lost it, but what's a real job anyway? Yeah, cause you ain't having any fun with your day to day, and what's the whole damn point of living life that way? I'd rather sit right here and be myself and live like that any day. Yeah. Some say that I've gone crazy. Another say I'm living the dream Well, I feel like I'm just stuck out here I'm Living somewhere in between Oh, Lord, but I don't know how this whole thing started Oh, where it's gonna end yeah, you can't get closer to heaven than where I've been You just tell me what the real difference is between you and I But as long as this fire keeps burning hot And the good times are never end I'll sit right here at the top of this mountain With a big smile on my face Yeah, I'll sit right here at the top of this mountain With a big smile on my face Well, I'll sit right here at the top of this mountain With a big smile, yeah With a big smile, a big smile on my face Hi, you've tuned into Music with Purpose, the show with all kinds of music, all kinds of performances, with all kinds of conversations, and all kinds of performers. I'm Lisa Catherine, your host, and with us tonight is Charles Austin. Thank you. Thank you for I, having me. Oh, my pleasure. I, I got to meet you probably, but I think it's been about a year ago. Yeah, I'd say it, it's Because it was been... at Jake's Open Mic. Jake's or uh, O'Brien's in Wallingford. Either no, you're right. It was O'Brien's, and then yeah. I told you about Jake's. Yeah, yeah Jake's. definitely. That's okay. Thank you for re but an open mic. Yes, I remember meeting you, and you came in, and then it was your time on stage, and I was doing something, and then I heard you say, "Then the next one is one of my originals." And people that know me, I'm like original, because <laughs> it's like, oh wait, she's, you know, I've had people say, oh wait, listen, listen, he's playing original. I just love original music. Yeah, definitely. and that's what turned my head was when when I started. When I heard you start singing and I heard it was an original, I was like, wow, I got to pay attention. And I was really glad I did. Because you. you have, there's your stage presence, your voice, the, your music, your songwriting is all awesome. Thank you. It really is. Thank you. And it's talking to other people about you, because I mentioned it not that long ago that you were going to be on the show. And, and um, 
three people that same night that had seen you perform said expressed that how much they enjoyed your music how you were just so easygoing you were a great guy and your stage presence and it really is a combination it's good to of hear. the songwriting obviously is is yours is really excellent um but you could be a great songwriter and not not know how to present it well right so it, it's the really it's the combination of things and um you definitely yeah, i'm well, happy to you. have you I, here thanks for having me and it's the, an honor to be here it's um Charles Austin, in fact, did not come from Austin. He did, however, grow up in the suburbs of Houston, Texas, with his parents and three siblings. Charles connected to his music at a very young age, playing his, learning to play his grandfather's Hammond organ. So you were how old when you started? Oh, man. I, I mean, I was definitely elementary school. I couldn't tell you the exact age. I mean, six, seven, eight, maybe. Um, had an organ. It was my grandfather's. It was a... I wish it was a, a B3, if anybody out there knows that. But it wasn't. It was a, a Hammond, um, I think it was a K, K1. Or, mm -hmm. uh, but it just sat in the living room, and I just I gravitated towards it. I remember just sitting on it, playing it, and the, the double, you know, the layers of keys and the bass pedals and the volume. And young age, I would play it and doodle on it and mess with the knobs and different tabs. And um, that kind of progressed into um, my parents. They, they ended up buying me a keyboard, I remember. Um, and Kind of, I don't know, a year or two I played on that, and then piano. Um, my dad ended up getting me a piano one birthday, a little upright, stuck in the corner, and I never looked back. So I, I learned and um, completely, pretty, for the most part, self-taught. You know, I just, I don't, I don't play it as much as I should anymore, but um, through the, you know, that's what got me through the years was learning to play the piano and expressing myself, just playing. This was before writing any songs mm -hmm. or um, singing. It was. I mean, I would write songs, but it was more just playing by ear. And, um, so you, you don't read music? You just play. I don't, no. You know, that's, I, that's I can read a little bit. Um, I studied it kind of up through college a little, as mm -hmm. much as I needed to get by, but I was just kind of go back to the feeling of it. You know, I'll play what I'm feeling. So. Let's see. College. College is when you really got out there with your music? Definitely. Yeah, that was like a, a big stepping stone for me. It was... Um, so I couldn't have a piano in the dorm. Okay. So I went to school in West Texas, which is in the middle of nowhere, but um, no piano, no way to fit it, no keyboard. There was, I mean, the dorm was like the size of this rug. I mean, it was small. It was, um, so I, I, I got a, a guitar. Someone bought me a guitar, and at the time, you know, I, I had no idea how to play it, and it, God, I remember learning it, and your fingers start to kill, and I'm like, I, I give up, but I would pick it up. And, um, you know, a after a while, some of the, the songs started to take hold, and I, I learned some stuff that I really liked. And once I learned, you know, once I learned a, a full song, you know, it was like a just take off from there. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, after I, I learned the guitar, and then I got into a band through a friend. He's still a, one of my best friends today, um, cool. and he plays in Dallas still. But we linked up, and I started playing with him, with my brother. Actually, my older brother is a musician. Mm -hmm. um, he plays drums. Um, and so that's kind of where it, it started to go. Songwriting started in college too? No, you know, songwriting is something that is within the last three years, really. Okay, so that's the newer part of the evolution. That's the newer part. Evolution I mean. Yeah, so it went, you know, myself on the piano to guitar and piano in a band and doing that thing through college and a little bit after. I co-wrote with a friend of mine that I was telling you about in Dallas. We wrote some songs together. Um, but then it was like, ooh, once I moved we got out of school, went home, and started to kind of sit around by myself with a guitar and a piano. You know, I don't know what, I couldn't even tell you the first time I uh, started writing on my own. I'm trying to think of the name. Remember the first song you wrote? The, you know, one of the first songs I, I could say that I finished was the one that I'm going to play it later. Um, oh. it's, it's called uh, Skipping Stones. The okay. song I wrote about two years ago. Um, in, in North Carolina, but so you know, part some of the first songs that I finished that I wrote were co-written with uh, my friend in Dallas. So, mm -hmm. say those were the first songs, but he helped me through a lot of those. Speaking of Dallas, and we're in Connecticut now. Obviously, <laughs> live actually Wallingford, Connecticut, yeah. but you traveled a lot. I did. Yes, got out of school, spent two years at home in Houston, um, and then I just something got the itch, and I was like, I, I got to get out of here. So I, I was with a company actually working 
um, and they allowed me to transfer, so I went to Denver. Um, and I lived in Denver for a few years, and Denver is really where I started to play on my own. Um, so like in coffee shops? Coffee and... shops and open mics, mm-hmm. as we talked about, open mics are the king. Yeah, you know, they are. Really that was kind of where I started to, to really play and sing on my own um, mm-hmm. and kind of define what I was doing and why and, and the type of music that I wanted to write. It's, it, Denver, it kind of fell into place. and then I'm going to see if I get it right. Modern folk Americana. Yeah, that's kind of what it. I say. I Modern folk Americana, rock, blues, whatever. Country. Country. I, I definitely have, have a, country have a little twang, I think. Yeah. Um, Sometimes I try to force it away, but it's just what I grew up listening to and mm-hmm. different things. So, well, Texas, that's yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and I, you know, there's a lot of meaning in that type of music, especially country. I love country music because it it has a message. It has a, there's a lot of meaning in in the songs. They're mm-hmm. easy to digest and straightforward. You know, I think a lot of artists bury their meanings of you know in metaphors and rhyme schemes and weird. You know. It, I try to simplify it because it, it really is, music's a simple thing. Yeah. Well, that's, that's one of my questions I like to ask everybody is about what's the right, going right into it, the, the meaning behind your music or the purpose behind your music. Yeah. Ooh, I mean, the meaning, I just, you know, I, I want to spread love and joy with my music, mm-hmm. ultimately, however I can. You know, I think that music moves people. Actually, nobody really knows. I was going to study music therapy in college. Mm-hmm. Um, and if any, you can look into that. I was going to go down that route, and I still might one day. Mm-hmm. Um, but my direction I know people kinda, that are music therapists. Yeah, and my direction changed a little bit for a million reasons. To be able to pull emotion out of somebody or move them into a different state. And I think it all started with me going through different phases of my life where music was just always my backbone. Mm-hmm. It could make you happy. It can make you sad. It can move you from one state to the, to the next. And if I can write songs that can pull people out of a hard time or mm-hmm. get them through, not, it doesn't even have to be a hard time, make the, the good times even better. Um, you know, I will do that. That's, that's kind of always been my goal with my music is to just, you know, it was maybe a subconscious thing. I, I started writing music and those kind of songs just came out of me and they feel good. So That's awesome. I, I, I get into chance, get having the show and getting a chance to listen to different people talk about their music and what it means to them. It's, it's just, I'm always fascinated because I, I, the, the show is called Music with Purpose yeah. because I want to be able to talk about and share and have you guys share the meaning behind your music because I really truly believe music heals and it can change the world and it has and it does. And It definitely does. And it's, your music is a perfect example of of Thank what you. um of that of of healing for yourself um and you know the message that you can get out there to help people you know right. affect yeah, either definitely. an emotion whether it's positive or negative and anything else that you'd like your listeners to feel or think i know we kind of went over but is there anything else before we get to listen I to mean, you play more music i think everybody has a different perspective on on music and what's great music and what's not i think um it's just important to Keep an open mind in, in life and in music. And um, you can listen to different things and have an open ear and an open heart and an open mind and just kind of let it take you and, and you, you know, be very surprised at where you can go with it. Um, and that's the way I try to write, you know, just let it come in, let it go out, whatever you're feeling, and write it down. Music with purpose. <laughs> it awesome. is. It really is. I play a little around town. Um, for me, it's I was going to go down that route and try to just play out as much as I can and then I took a step back and I thought you know what I want to focus on writing as much as I can Mm -hmm. musicianship and writing and putting out the the best music that I can so on top of that I'm um, I'm still working a day job but I'm also learning I'm producing and and doing that whole side of recording and everything Mm -hmm. myself as well I've got a little home studio so right um, and then my end goal is just to get out and promote the message um Whatever that ends up being, I've got a lot of different ideas. And then volunteer around town with you. So I, I really yeah, appreciate yeah. meeting you in concerts, um, sure. concerts with causes and music with purpose. And thank I want to keep doing much. this kind of stuff. It's important. Thank you for you and what you're doing and bringing music out. I'm really excited to hear more. Thank you. Which, Charles, thank you so much thank for being you. here. I can't wait to hear more music. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. This is one of the first songs that I um, ever written, I think, that I was 
happy with. It's called Skipping Stones, and um, I took a little time off from my regular job, the day job, and um, I traveled around with uh, my girlfriend. We were in Raleigh, North Carolina, which is it's a beautiful spot, and uh, so I had a lot of time to just go out and hike and do different things, and I was in the uh, this place I like to go. It's in the middle of the woods. There's a bench, and the song kind of came to me within a couple hours, and uh, put it together, and it, skipping stuff. That wind blew across those rolling hills with the smells of fall. And all those rusted autumn leaves, they cover all the ground beneath my feet. There's a bench that overlooks all the land as far as I can see. It's the place that I go to write It's the place that I go just to listen to the trees I hope that God put me here For a reason that's bigger than myself For all this beauty in the world It's easy to see that there's something else As I sit here on this bench, I feel the sun just warming up my faith. As I am thankful, I am blessed just to be here living out my days. Well, I remember times when I got so low I felt I couldn't breathe. And sometimes you lose that grip beneath your feet and nothing seems to go your way. Cause we are all like skipping stones across the water just chasing down a dream. I let it go and take it day by day and maybe then you'll see I know that God put me here for a reason that's bigger than myself yeah the challenge is in letting go just holding on long enough to see As I take a look around, I feel the sun just warming up my face. I am thankful, I am blessed, just to be here living out my days. As I lay my head at night, I look up, I thank my lucky stars For all these good times that I've had And for my family getting me this far I know it's easy to forget that you are right where you are supposed to be Don't close your eyes Hold on tight This ride you're on is free I hope the God put me here For a reason that's bigger than myself There's so much beauty in the world It's easy to see that there's something else 
But as I take a look around, I feel the sun warming up my face. Cause I am thankful, I am blessed just to be here living out my day. Make some sense of my mind Staring out the window Wasting time until you come home yeah, I'm wondering where you've gone this time I bet you're out there on that open road Listening to the radio And you got your foot on the gas And you ain't coming back just yet Bet you stopped off oh, in a state tent somewhere outside Jacksonville again anyway. I'm planning on turning back anytime soon. Yeah, well, I'll be waiting here for you, baby, when you do. Got a call yesterday from my old buddy out in L.A. He said he saw you out in Hollywood walking down the street. Well, I wonder just how long you're really going to be gone before you stop missing me. Oh, before you, you stop missing me now, baby. Well, I'm thinking. You ain't ever coming back at all, no I bet you're out there on that open road Listening to the radio You got your foot on the gas And you ain't coming back just yet oh, no. I bet you stopped off, oh In a state town somewhere outside Jacksonville again And you ain't planning on turning back anytime soon yeah, well, I'll be waiting here for you, baby, when you do well, I can't wait forever Cause I've been missing you like hell yeah. I bet you're out there on that open road Listen to the radio You got your foot on the gas And you ain't coming back just yet Oh, I bet you stopped off Oh, in a state town somewhere outside Jacksonville again And you ain't planning on turning back anytime soon Yeah, well, I'll be waiting here well, Baby, I'll be waiting here I'll be waiting here for you, baby, when you do, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Together, 
wait and see And I know we've got a mountain to climb But baby, we're gonna climb right over tonight So don't let go of my hand Cause we're never gonna go back home Thank you, Charles, for being with us tonight. Thank you all for joining us. And until then, we wish you a life full of music, love, and peace. Thank you.